Hello, new retouching plugin from Retouch For Me series has been released. It is called Eye Vessels. It removes redness and blood vessels from the whites of the eyes. Thanks to Dmitry Agayev and Alexander Vinogradov for the photos. At the first look, retouching of whites of eyes doesn't seem a significant task. But this is only until you start retouching high-resolution photos. Because with high resolution comes great responsibility. This photo was taken with Fujifilm medium format camera. It has resolution of 50 megapixels. Let's take a closer look at the eyes. I cannot say these eyes are bloodshot, but even now blood vessels are clearly visible on the whites of the eyes. How do retouchers usually deal with such problems? I'm creating a new layer. I'm going to remove vessels by hand using healing brush. It's good when there are not so many vessels and you have areas to copy the texture from. But even in that case, it is not easy to do. Because each time I have to take a sample from that part of the eye, which has exactly the same brightness as the place I retouch. I work quickly, constantly changing areas where I get the texture from. I use a tablet, but even so, retouching takes a lot of time. Also note that even though I tried to work carefully, the whites still don't look uniform. There are dark and light spots here. To get rid of them, I'm creating a new layer, overlaying it in soft light mode and filling it with 50% gray. I'm going to work with dodge and burn tools, lightening and darkening parts of the eye so that it turns uniform. But at the same time, I need to retain its shape. I darken the light areas. Now I'm going to lighten the dark spots. I think now you understand that such retouching takes much longer time than it might seem at the first glance. I will combine all the layers into a group. Let's compare. Here is before, here is after. I already spent a few minutes, and in the meantime, I have to retouch another eye. Eye Vessels plugin was created to facilitate such retouching. Let's see how it works. This is a very high resolution photo, so I'm choosing Selection Tool and selecting both eyes so that the plugin doesn't load the entire photo, but only works with a selection. It significantly reduces processing time. Here's the result Compare before and after. Notice that now I have my retouching layer enabled, and this is how it differs from what the plugin did. As you can see, my manual retouching looks worse. I press F12 to view the original. See the photo before. Compare it with plugin result. Here is what I did manually on one eye. The shape of the eyeball is distorted. That is, the plugin processed faster and better. I will load the next photo. Also, there are certain problems with the eyes. I'm selecting both eyes with a selection frame and launching Retouch For Me Eye Vessels plugin. Here's before and here is after. Here is a photo before, and this is how the plugin works. I'm going to load another photo that was shot with Hasselblad camera with a resolution of 100 megapixels. I will select the eyes and launch the plugin. Let me remind you that the plugin can also work in batch mode. You do not need to select anything. But in that case, the plugin loads the whole photo and it will take much longer. For individual work, it is faster to select exact areas for retouching. Here's the photo before, here's after.
Let's see it in Photoshop. Before and after. I will load the last picture. It was shot with Sony camera with 24 megapixel sensor. But even with such a resolution, portraits have the problem of bloodshot eyes, which needs to be fixed. I'm selecting the eyes and launching the plugin. Let's compare before and after. Here's the photo before. Here it is after applying Retouch For Me Eye Vessels plugin. The plugin can be purchased at retouch4.me. See you in the next video. Goodbye.